Hey! What are you doing? I'm doing a science experiment! Well, what kind of science experiment? I'm testing out how long it takes for a bullet to come back down after you shoot it off into the air. You did what? Yeah, about eight minutes and 34 seconds ago, I dumped a whole mag into the air and now I'm just waiting. Scooter, that is a horrible idea. Shut up, you sound like my mom. <laughs> What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And if you've ever played video games or watched an 80s action movie, you have probably seen one of these. And you know when one of these gets busted out in a video game or a movie, somebody is going to go flying back at least 30 feet and through at least one wall. Because apparently a sawed off shotgun is way more powerful than a standard shotgun. Or at least that is what we have been led to believe. Well today we are going to put that theory to the test with a ballistic dummy lab zombie torso. This has lifelike flesh, bones, and has been zombified with green blood. I have two sawed off shotguns today. This is a Remington Road Warrior 12 gauge shotgun with 10 inch barrels and this is my 10 gauge sawed off. It's not truly a sawed off shotgun because it has 18 and a quarter inch barrels but close enough when it comes to a 10 gauge. Today we are going to try these out at different distances and compare them to standard shotguns and see if a sawed off shotgun truly is more powerful. All right, we have Mr. Zombie Torso set up and we are gonna go ahead and scoot back to 20 yards. That's gonna be our farthest distance today. And I'm gonna start out with 12 gauge. First, we'll take a shot with the sawed off and then we will use a standard 12 gauge and see what kind of differences we get. Also, if you can't tell, it is freezing cold today. I can barely feel my fingies and it's about 16 degrees. Now, I know that some of you live in places that is much colder and you know you go outside and your toes just fall off but this is pretty cold for me i can't really feel my face so if i slur my words a little bit today i'm not having a stroke I'm just really cold i hate the cold but you know what i really can't stand spammers robo callers and telemarketers but thankfully there's companies out there like today's sponsor aura you know, anyone can find anything on the internet, including your personal information. I mean, it's so easy, even this guy can do it. Why aren't you wearing a shirt? It is freezing cold and stop stealing everyone's personal information. I may have overreacted just a, just a little bit. Or will identify data brokers exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. And they'll also opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. Swing over to Aura.com forward slash Kentucky to start your free two-week trial today and see how many data brokers are exposing your information on the web. I'm not very good at this. Ah! You can also find this link in the description down below, or you can scan my camera at home. Aura also does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't see. It's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. Stop letting people exploit and profit off of your private information. Swing over to or.com forward slash Kentucky and start your free two week trial today. You can also find this link in the description down below or you can scan my QR code. Again, a big thank you to Aura for sponsoring today's video. Be sure and check them out. Now let's go get back to it. Okay, we are back at 20 yards and I'm gonna use some two and three quarter inch, 12 gauge, double hot buck. There's nine pellets in here. Let's see what happens when we hit Mr. Zombie Torso. My fingies are so cold. I've got them wrapped up with some tape because I know they're about to get beat up. Ah, let's go check it out. 
So we shot nine pellets and it looks like three hit Mr. Zombie here. We have a hit right there and then one right here at the top of his shoulder and then one right here by his armpit. 20 yards, three out of nine, that's really not that bad. Uh, but aiming was quite difficult. So now let's try that again, but this time with a more standard 12 gauge. Alrighty, so the next 12 gauge I have is a Remington 887 Nitro Mag. And I'm loaded up with the same double lot buck. Let's see if we have any better luck this time. Here we go. So we have three new holes in Mr. Zombie. We have one here, one here, and one right here. So judging from this spread, it looks like our buckshot was a lot more centered with the standard 12 gauge shotgun. I was aiming somewhere here in the middle and that's about where we hit. Oh, right there's one of our pellets actually. Lodged in his back there. And actually there's one as well. So I'm marking these holes with a permanent marker so we can keep track of new holes. But while doing so, I realized that I missed one. So here, here, and here were with the sawed off. We actually have one, two, three, four holes with the standard 12 gauge shotgun. Angry eyebrows. And we're gonna give you a mustache Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. I can't feel my fingers. But I bet you can, huh? Your toasty little home. Sitting on the toilet watching this video. I can't feel my lips. But the least you could do is hit that subscribe button. All right, well now we're gonna stay at the 20 yard mark, but we're gonna move on to 10 gauge. First up is the sawed off, and I'll be loaded up with some 10 gauge three and a half inch double lot buck. And just for reference, this is 10 gauge compared to 12 gauge. The 12 gauge holds nine pellets of double lot buck, while the 10 gauge holds 18 pellets. Also, it's gonna kick a lot harder and my cold dead hands are about to be hurting. Oh man, it's been a while since I've shot this one. Cold weather really makes everything hurt more. My fingers are just really not feeling good. Let's inspect. I believe we have several new hits. Looks like we have one and then one right here in his armpit. And then three is right there and then four. Okay, well for the 10 gauge, I've got something that's maybe above standard length. <laughs> this is my 10 gauge goose gun. I believe this is called a Super Goose. Yeah, the original Super Goose 10. I believe this barrel is close to 30 inches. Like it's pretty long and we're gonna be loaded up with the same double lot buck. All right, here we go. Yeah, that was a good hit. Oh. <laughs> well, it looks like the Super Goose was a lot more effective than the sawed off 10 gauge at 20 yards. We have a lot of damage here. Um, looking here, it looks like the majority of the pellets hit this guy. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 holes I count. There's probably one more in there that I just missed, but it looks like almost every single pellet hit the zombie torso. Super goose for the win. So at 20 yards, we learned that sawed off shotguns are very hard to aim with and have quite a spread. These standard shotguns definitely took that win. 
So now we've scooted up to 10 yards. These sawed off shotguns should perform a little bit better. So again, we are gonna start off with the 12 gauge. And again, we are loaded up with double lot buck. Here we go. Ugh. I don't know who hurt more just then, that zombie or my hand. Oh, it's so cold. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Okay, well, despite me pulling my shot to the left, we still proved at 10 yards we have a tighter group than at 20 yards with the 12 gauge sawn off. That's a pretty good little group there. Okay, now for the nitro mag with the same double lot buck. Okay, here we go. Oh! Yeah, I think he felt that one. I'm surprised his blood is not a slushy right now. Okie dokie. Yeah, I think uh, we had all nine pellets pretty much all right here. And as you can see, he's got some new colorful spots. Where's my marker? Okay, let's see here. One, two, that's a big one. Three, four, five, six, seven, piece of his rib just fell off and there's eight okay okay uh wait we need one more one more to complete the set looks like we had all nine pellets hit mr zombie that time and in a very tight group i'm gonna say that the standard length 12 gauge definitely delivered more punishment to mr zombie than the sawed off so now it's time for 10 yards with the 10 gauge. Three and a half inch double lot buck again. This should be pretty interesting. Oh. Hey, you know, I almost have to say that the 10 gauge is hurting my fingies less than the 12 gauge. I think it's because it's heavier. Okie dokie. Let's see here. We definitely have new holes. It's just kind of getting hard now to see which ones are new. Cause as you can see here, he's, he's pretty covered. Let's see, there's a new hole. So one, oh, here we go. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. And then, uh, okay, I'm going to go with ten. All right, now it's time for ten yards with the Super Goose. I think that this shot is definitely going to be super. Super destructive. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure those blew right through him. <laughs> yeah, so looks like those are all right here. Just all right in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it's hard to really tell. I would say almost all of those pellets hit the zombie and I think we had several actually make it through him that time. So we have learned that distance definitely is not the friend of the sawed off shotgun. But now we're about to step it up to point blank. The sawed off shotgun's specialty. So technically they should have the advantage. So again, we're gonna start out with 12 gauge and again, I'll be loaded up with double lot buck. This should be rather interesting. All right, here we go. Oh. Ugh. 
So again, with this particular shotgun, I pulled my shot to the left, but it doesn't really matter. We had a very tight group right here, and I don't know, uh, it looks like we had a few maybe leave the back. Also, take a look at this. The zombie blood is starting to freeze. All right, time for the 887 Nitro Mag. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! Yeah, let's have a look. So our first shot was here. So I decided to make the second shot just right next to it. And honestly, there's not a whole lot of difference. Um, well, the exit hole looks different. You can see here, looks like we got a lot more damage on this side. I mean, it's a pretty big old chunk. Okie dokie. Time for the old 10 gauge. Again, loaded up with the three and a half inch double hunt buck. All right, 10 gauge sold off right to the chest. Oh, wow. Okay then, well, I will say, 10 gauge, definitely doing more damage than 12 gauge. I mean, here you can see that is the 12 gauge sawed off and right here is the 10 gauge. And boy, oh boy, that smacked him hard. We still didn't manage to make it all the way through him. I think that a lot of those got caught up in the bone areas, but that entire zombie torso moved that time. We have not seen that yet. 10 gauge up close. That was pretty impressive. Not gonna have to stand too close for the old goose gun. I am very excited to see what this looks like. Oh, you don't hear. Here we go. Oh. Okay, well, you know, the 10 gauge goose gun may not be as cool as the sold off 10 gauge, but I will say this, it's doing a lot more damage. Um, not a very big spread, just a little tiny hole. But if you take a look back here, whoa, that is, that's a lot of damage. Okay, well obviously the 10 gauge is hitting harder than the 12 gauge. There's one last thing I want to do. We're going to go very point blank to Mr. Zombie here. So we're in the old belly region. So 10 gauge double lot buck. That was only a few inches from the zombie torso. Very tight and a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Okay, well, you know, there's still a lot of good zombie right here in this region. And my heart is telling me super goose. Oh, oh, oh. I think that does it for old Mr. Zombie. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, he's done. He's done. And I'm done too. I literally cannot feel my hands. I've manned up all day and shot in the freezing cold with no gloves on. We have uh, zombie particles all over the super goose. And there's zombie particles uh, basically everywhere. It was misting in the air 
and snowing little green snowflakes. The zombie here, he, uh, well, he's a little more open-minded now. <laughs> Stop. a whole lot in there. So, sawed-off shotguns and standard shotguns. Is the sawed-off shotgun more powerful? I'm going to go with no. But they do have some pretty cool properties when you get a little bit closer. All in all, I think the standard shotgun is definitely the way to go. When it comes to distance, it's got you covered. And when you're close, it's also got you covered. But the sawed-off shotgun at close ranges did seem to disperse the energy a little more evenly through the zombie torso because you still have a spread even when you're up close. He did move a lot more with the sawed-off shotguns, especially the 10-gauge, than with the standard shotguns. It wasn't like the movies. It didn't go flying off the table, but it did deliver a little more energy. But what I'd really like to know is what you think. Which one is superior, standard or sawed-off shotgun? Let me know in the comment section down below. And right about now is when I would tell you to check me out on Kentucky this and Kentucky that, but it's way too cold for that and I can no longer fill my face. So be sure and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'll see you next time. I'm so cold!